Hey there, YouTube. Corey from the Phoenix Enigma here again. I wasn't planning on making two videos today, but this cannot wait. I've been watching these videos and I've been following this thing like you know. And one thing has not been talked about yet. One thing no one's really brought up. It's right in our face the whole time here, but this is big. This is big. Sheriff. Sheriff Joe Lombardo. He's obviously the spokesperson for this deal. He's up there in the front. He's taking the heat. He's doing the press conferences. He's facilitating everything. Why is he out there? Now, Metro Las Vegas PD is a unique sheriff's office, and it's a combination of the Las Vegas Police Department and the Clark County Sheriff's Office. Um, we're going to talk about sheriffs here. Uh, you may or may not know this, depending on if you've followed constitutional issues during your life. But the sheriff's, the position of sheriff, the office of sheriff, is one of the most powerful law enforcement positions in our country, and most people don't know this. We're going to get into the sheriff here real quick. This is going to be a fast video, uh, just the facts. If you check out sheriff's duties on Wikipedia here, they'll talk about how the sheriff performs functions as traffic control, animal enforcement, accident investigation, homicide investigation, narcotics, transportation of prisoners, school resources, yada, yada, yada. It uh, doesn't go into any of the other uh, details. It conveniently glosses over much of what the sheriff's uh, job is and their duties um, constitutionally. Uh, another reason why Wikipedia has been compromised and uh, do not get all your information from Wikipedia, please. You go on and start reading what the sheriff's office is and you'll learn under the Constitution of the United States of America, there are only two law enforcement officers in America, the county sheriff and the U.S. Marshal. The sheriff is the only elected law enforcer whose duty it is to protect the unalienable rights of the people both in the courtroom and within the county, while the U.S. Marshal is responsible for protecting the unalienable rights of people in the federal courtroom. Okay, All other law enforcement... Um, is not provided for in the U.S. Constitution. Sheriff is also the only person who can call for posse comitatus, raising an army um, or manpower on the, uh, the U.S. ground here. Refer to common law to all males over the age of 15 whom a sheriff could call for assistance in preventing any type of civil disorder. That is his right. That is his duty as a sheriff to deputize citizens to fulfill his obligation to protect the people in this county. That being said, this incident occurred in Las Vegas, Clark County, during a time when the sheriff was Joseph Lombardo. If you remember not just a couple years ago, Lombardo was instrumental in facilitating the de-escalation of the Bundy uh, standoff states' rights versus civil rights issue involving cattle, um, grazing rights, the Bureau of Land Management, which is overseen by the Department of Interior, which is directly under the executive branch or the enforcement branch of these United States. The FBI came in. Um, it was a big brouhaha. It was a big mess. If you remember, it was a standoff. It was all over the news, talk radio, talking about these crazy militias and the uh, sovereign the sovereign rights and the whole sovereign movement. Um, well, what we didn't pay attention at the time was that Joseph Lombardo testified, after de-escalating it, testified on behalf of the federal officers. He sided with the feds. Fast forward to October 1st, 2017, the FBI has a sympathetic or cooperating sheriff Think about that for one second. Let that sink in. The one man who has the power to detain, arrest, and deport out of his county federal troops, federal officers, the highest law enforcement authority in his jurisdiction is sympathetic to the FBI. 
during this event. At the time of the Bundy, uh, he was an undersheriff, um, but he worked his way up in the ranks. So here you have the FBI in control of a situation that um, they have complete control over the sheriff, over the head law enforcement, legally speaking, jurisdictionally speaking. Um, when you look at the initial video of Lombardo on October 2nd for his uh, press conference, Kevin? He's, pretty, uh, he's pretty in charge. He's pretty confident. Those are state representatives and state law well, enforcement. Good morning, everyone. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am Sheriff Lombardo for Clark County. Um, I don't have uh, very much more to update you with. It's confident. Uh, from our previous briefings. He's in charge. He's doing um, his job. One thing in particular that has changed um, in the negative is our uh, body count. No, I, you know what, that's the wrong. He's obviously not aware that this was a deep state operation. Fast forward to the 13th. And here you see him in a press conference looking a little more shaken. And that gentleman standing right behind him there, this guy, Aaron Roos. We'll get to him in a second. But this is a whole new Lombardo. Welcome, everybody. Um, I'm obviously Joe Lombardo, Sheriff of Clark County, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Um, this press conference will probably be a little bit different than you experienced earlier. Yeah, a lot um, different. Be more informational versus Q and A. No questions. Uh, so my intent today is to provide some clarification on some outstanding issues out there in the public. By the way, that's code for rescripting the narrative. Okay. Who is FBI head Aaron Roos? Well, he was appointed to this deal by Comey. And in this article here, it talks about how no wonder the investigation is such a mess. You know? Comey screwed it up by putting Aaron Roos in there. It ain't screwed up. It's on purpose. It is to add disinformation. That's Roos's job here. It is evident. <laughs> Here's the kicker. My last video I talked about Podesta, that creep who hangs pedophilic art all over his house and has a, um, a sculpture of the dead remains of the body they found in um, Bundy's house and is hanging on his stairwell. Um, John Podesta is the, the uh, campaign manager for Hillary Clinton. We find out that Aaron Roos is married to John Podesta's daughter. Is this, is this getting weird? Is this Twilight Zone yet for you? Are you still getting your news from CNN? From MSNBC? From NBC? From ABC? Is that where you're learning about this? It's time to begin thinking critically, people. Asking questions and doing your own research. This is in your face. They don't even try to hide it. FBI damage control spin doctor Aaron Roos is former counterintelligence division of the FBI headquarters. He is counterintelligence said to head, sent to Vegas to head up the investigation of the events of October 1st. I'm just going to let that sit there. You think about that. Getting back to the sheriff here. If y'all remember what happened with the Bundys, that whole thing spilled over to Oregon with the, um, there was a, um, a wildlife refuge there, a guy named Lavoie. Lavoie Finnegan, from Arizona, actually. I believe Cottonwood or Carefree, somewhere up in there. He was a cowboy. He went up there to get um, involved in this movement to help facilitate. He was, he was a very good speaker. He's a really nice guy, very well respected. I know a lot of people who knew this man. They said he was a great guy. He was shot and killed by state troopers um, just 
almost across the county line. And I'm telling you this story because it emphasizes the power of the sheriff and the sheriff's conjunctions with the FBI sometimes. In this case right here, Lavoy Finnegan was a spokesperson. When the whole thing went down and they backed off and let everyone kind of take off out of the wildlife refuge, the plan was to arrest Lavoy Finnegan and some of the other um, agitators uh, to where they could more easily um, get them subdued without violent conflict. Good plan if you're, the, if you're law enforcement. Okay. There was a sheriff, and this didn't really make the mainstream news at the time. All we heard about was Lavoy Finnegan got killed. But there was a, there was a, a sheriff by the name of Palmer, Glenn Palmer. Okay, He was a sheriff of the next county north. And what he did was he can, he's a self-proclaimed constitutional um, sheriff. And he was doing what his duty under the Constitution was to protect the inalienable rights of the citizens. He told Lavoie, if you get up to my county, I will protect you. I will protect you from the federal government. I will not allow them to arrest you. A lot of people don't know this, but that is where Lavoy Finnegan was driving to when he was shot at a roadblock. They call it a traffic stop. It's a roadblock. Everyone was aware of uh, Palmer's role in this. Everyone was aware that he was sympathetic to Lavoy and to the... Uh, the movement going on up there, which, when it boils down, is states versus federal rights. Okay? State versus federal. Sheriff versus FBI. It comes down to land use. Uh, and I'll make a video about this someday, but people don't even understand what's going on out west. It's worth noting that this roadblock was supposed to be in the next county it was, it was supposed to be set up in um, Grant County, where Glenn Palmer was at. When they, when they found out what was going on, they moved the roadblock a few miles south to Harney County. Because they knew if they killed Lavoie Finnegan up where uh, Glenn Palmer was sheriff, that Glenn Palmer was just going to make it a mess for him. They had a cooperating sheriff in the county to the south. Okay. If you wonder why this took place in Nevada at all, let's look at this here, guys. Nevada. This is a uh, website here that says how much land of a specific state does the federal government own? Nevada. 84.9% of Nevada, right there, is federally owned or managed. The feds can't own property, so they created the Bureau of Land Management to hold it in trust, to manage it on behalf of the federal government. Guys, I'm bringing this forward. It's now in the open. Do your research. Do what you want with it. Just know that um, the sheriff you elect going forward here, the sheriff you elect is going to make the difference in the near future as this fight between state and federal rights escalates. Your sheriff is going to be the last line of defense that you have as a free citizen when the feds come knocking. Okay, And if you're from Arizona like I am, regardless of your opinion of Sheriff Joe and his shenanigans and all the, uh, all of the, uh, the brouhaha about the immigration, Sheriff Joe stood up to the feds. He understood his role. He'd worked with the feds in the previous um, jobs. But as a sheriff, he understood what the feds couldn't do. He was the one sheriff that stood up against Obama when it came to the rights of a state versus the fed to enforce state law. Arizona is on the forefront of illegal immigration and gun control. Think back to Fast and Furious. You know what that is? Google it, not the movie. The FBI operation, or sorry, the, the ATF operation. Um, Joe had to go. For the feds to get more of a, a hold on Arizona, Maricopa County, Joe had to go. You can look in the future 
to watch your sheriffs being coming under attack. You can look to you can look to more and more sim- federal sympathetic le- 